Are you tired of dealing with failing trailer lights? We're going to show you the proper way to install them and we'll share an easy trick to make them waterproof so they last a long time. Stick around, this is an easy low cost upgrade for your trailer. This will be the second time I change these lights in less than a year and I'm tired of it. I'm going to be installing a new set of lights but this time we're going to make them bulletproof and I think we could get them to work and never have an issue with them again. We're going to try. Let's take all this old crap off, let's get these new ones in. The quality of all these things are awful. They rust. You see, they're all coming apart. I think I got these ones off of Amazon. I had good connections on them, but unfortunately water gets inside. They have a gasket, but it's not, not good. And water gets inside these things, as you can see. So we have a poor connection somewhere here and the lights just don't work well. So we're gonna switch them out. I bought a better kit from Harbor Freight. These are LED lights. They look a little bit better. They have some silicone here, but we're really gonna reinforce these lights and make them waterproof. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get started. So what I'm gonna do is, because this allows water to get inside because it's not sealed properly, I'm gonna go ahead and fill these little spots here with epoxy. We're gonna fill all this stuff up. All of this in here, maybe put some silicone back there. This is what I have um, that I'm gonna use. Some Fasco epoxy. Uh, two parts of this and two part or one part of that. And I'll probably I'm probably gonna thicken it up a little bit too. I've almost made like a paste. And that's what I'm going to use to rub that in there. Check that out. All right, so we made that epoxy. We thickened it up and we put it all around the edges. Now no water can get in there. I'll wipe it down now and make it a little cleaner, but that's the idea. I'm going to put some dabs under there and let this sit to tomorrow. I'll do the same for the other light. Finish this one up. I actually poked a hole in there so that thickened epoxy covered that up fine. But I coated this whole thing. This thing is waterproof. We'll wipe it down some more and that's it. We'll let it dry. And these are pretty secure. We'll just have to connect with waterproof well, wire connectors and we'll be fine with those. But this is fine. This is what I was worried about. We'll let these cure and then we'll install them. First problem. I'm spinning this nut and the whole thing is spinning because it's all rusted to hell. So we gotta, we're gonna have to take a hammer to this thing and break it. Nope. Crap. Now that we got the light off, we gotta get this wiring off. We'll take off those zip ties. This is why these things go bad. It's full of water. Hopefully what we did with the uh, new ones will prevent it. Let's see. We have two sets of uh, wires. They're split into two different colors. You have green and brown and yellow and brown. So the port side, we have the yellow wire and brown wire. And on the starboard side, we have the green and the brown wire. So let's run those through. We have the wires. This will, this part we're gonna disconnect because this part goes to the truck. And then this part, this is the ground. So this is gonna go to the chassis of the actual trailer. This will go to the starboard side, this will go to the port side. I'm gonna run it through under here. Let's run it through. So we ran both sides. Now we gotta connect the lights. And we're gonna attach the first light. Now this is the light that has the white light on the bottom to shine on the license plate. And you need that to make this legal. Uh, you're required to have a light shining on your license plate. So we're gonna attach that to the port side. All right, so we got three wires. We have the yellow and brown. On the other side, it's the green and brown. And we have to connect that to the wires that are coming from the front. 
So you, you also notice this wire here, this is the grounding wire. Now, normally you would connect this here, but if you notice, screws, uh, the bolts that were on here before are all rusted. And once you have rust, you have a bad connection that, you know, it'll mess everything up. I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna move it over and put it over here. And I'm also gonna put a waterproof connection because this is no good. Once this gets wet, that's it. We're gonna connect the wires from the light to the wires over here and run to the front. I'm gonna use these uh, Hishun connectors. Now we got those done. We gotta give them some heat. Let's connect. Let's connect this first. I'm gonna put it right here. All right, so here we have the connections. And then here we have our ground. And now we're gonna run this back and do the same thing to the other side. This side's done. All right, we mounted the light. Now we have to splice it in here on the port side with the brown wire. So we have to grab that brown wire here and splice, and splice those two wires. Splice these two wires for the brown. Here, splice these two wires for the brown. All right, we got our trailer wired up. Here's the ground that's gonna go up here. This won't come out, so I gotta figure this will be temporary for now, but you need a ground for up here. This will connect to your truck or SUV. Now we still got all these wires, so we gotta manage all these wires, but I'm running out of light. So, we got some of the excess there. Still gotta tighten up this side. truth we got to connect this guy to this pin here for that we have this adapter on the boat. No water on the inside. So looks like it worked.